The holy month of Ramadan is a time when Muslims across the world come together in a spirit of prayer and communion. Masjids and places of worship usually witness an influx of people and social interactions. However, this year has been a different experience as we come together in a collective effort to combat the spread of COVID-19 by observing the holy month from home with our families and loved ones. With the aid of modern technology, we are able to connect with our relatives, friends and communities and inquire after their well-being despite the restrictions on movement and gatherings. We are making the most of these days by engaging in productive activities that nourish the mind and give respite to the soul, such as joining online courses and developing new skills. As our forefathers have taught us, it is necessary to exercise patience during these trying times and to come together in the aid of those among us who are without recourse. In the wake of this COVID-19 pandemic, the leader of Daudi Bora community, His Holiness, Sayyidna Mufaddal Saifuddin, sent a message to all our community organizations to extend whatever help they can to serve the country and its citizens. Post that, quickly, our volunteers across 600 plus cities were mobilized to provide various reliefs. For instance, in India, our existing network of community kitchens were reopened to serve cooked meals to around tens of thousands of daily earners and many others. Besides that, several tons of dry rations and groceries were distributed to all community members and other locals who were in need. And with the help of our doctors and ambulance services across cities, medical supplies were also given to the most vulnerable amongst us. All these various relief efforts were undertaken in coordination with the local authorities while strictly abiding by all the safety and health measures. Every meal and every helping hand goes a long way towards helping those less fortunate. That's why I'm really proud that many of our North American community members are doing their part to feed the hungry by supporting local charities and food banks. Our community has also helped source and purchase valuable personal protective equipment or PPE, for many of our frontline medical workers. In addition, many of our members are using their sewing skills to create, design, and donate face masks to our healthcare workers and other frontline heroes. His Holiness Sayyidina Mufadil Saifuddin has counseled his community, as well as to the rest of the world, to do everything within the rules and regulations of their respective authorities to alleviate the hardship and suffering of those among us who are rendered helpless as a result of the pandemic. The Prophet Muhammad also states, love for one's country of abode is integral to faith. And so during the holy month, community members, as well as brothers and sisters from all faiths and all walks of life, are urged to adhere to the laws of the land and maintain social distancing protocols as enforced by the government. We also acknowledge that governments and authorities across the globe have been given a great responsibility to safeguard their countries and their citizens, and we support the measure that they have taken. We applaud the essential frontline service workers for their selflessness, bravery, and for risking their lives for the sake of others. During this holy month, we pray to the Almighty to give us the strength and the courage to persevere through these difficult times. May he cure the ill among us, and may he have mercy of those that have passed. May he swiftly restore the health and prosperity to all the peoples of the world. That is our heartfelt prayer.